Hello photography fans and welcome to my darkroom. So as some of you know I always try to find cheap ways of just doing things here in the darkroom and one example would be that old printing box, the UV LED box that I had and that thing was um, just some scraps of LED <clears throat> strips and old developing tray all put together and soldered and it worked great. Now the problem I had is that with larger 11 by 15 prints that thing would not print out quite well because it would not reach edge to edge so I needed to come up with something bigger now you can go out and then buy nice units fluorescent ones would run you $300, $400 LED ones probably more than that so I decided to build my own and here's what I came up with so this here ladies and gentlemen is a homemade UV exposure box it's the same principle as the original one I had. Now, this one is better looking, I guess. You can say that. It's not a developing tray anymore. It's a proper oak box. And it has proper substrate. It's just not any any piece of plastic. Actually, this is a, a heat-resistant substrate used in many LED exposure units. LEDs are just um, a roll, about a roll and a half of LEDs and they're soldered and they're jumped so pluses and minuses are jumped now when I originally built it <clears throat> I put power input here and I had it run all, all across the, the plane now the problem with that was here you had 12 volt at the end you had about 9 volts, that 3 volts drop created unevenness in light and I didn't like that so I broke this down into two banks I attached power here and I attached power there now at the end you have about 11 and a half volts and here about 11 and a half volts so you don't have much volt drop across a smaller portion that you might have had across the whole unit I could have broken it down to three or four and it would have still it would have worked probably even better but even with two banks you have a pretty even light so on the bottom you can see that you have plus and minus wires these are 18 gauge solid they run into the connection here and there's a connection from power supply now this is a 5 amp power supply I figured on about one roll of LEDs you have about um, 2 amps or 3 amps power draw so 5 amp a power supply 12 volt power supply is plenty sufficient for that and I connected those wires here connected negatives and positives and I secured them with some um, wire zip ties and I put some feet and these are just um, three dollar Home Depot bumpers and it works great so one thing I gotta do is secure this cable here so it doesn't pull in case I tug on it. So let me plug it in and let you see how this thing works. So pretty much I have on the wall I have my junction box, junction strip. There you go. Even light. Works like a charm. Total investment less than fifty dollars wood, screws, LEDs and some work so if you're looking for a cheap way of making a decent size, this is 11 by 15 exposure, actually you can expose a little bit larger than that this type of um, box will work just fine you don't need anything special, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars for LEDs, just a little soldering and that's all you need you don't even need a box all you need is a real substrate and uh, four feet to lift it off the ground so you can put power supply heck you don't even need that you can just lay it flat on the table put maybe two blocks of wood to support your exposure frame speaking of which one thing that I actually spend money on is this humongous exposure frame now a pr printing frame rather so this thing came from I think Adorama it's solidly built oak construction I have not used it yet I still use my old trusty one I made that in the garage but this one was like 90 bucks and this is the only thing I really splurged on because this is nice 
nice quality. So I'll be using that soon for um, for larger prints. So that's it for today. If you have any questions on the materials on um, regarding that box, leave the comments below. Until next time, keep shooting film.